Hi, everyone. This is Selena Belial, the founder here at CE Institute, and I'm also one of the Lomi Lomi instructors. Now, we usually teach CE hours for CE credit for massage therapists, registered nurses, cosmetologists, estheticians, and so forth. Um, we're also NCB, TMB uh, approved provider. And keep in mind, we're only approved for some states and all the states that accept NCB, TMB hours. Um, but today, we're just going to quickly show you what Puli looks like. Um, it can also be called Pule. So Puli or Pule is a Hawaiian word. And keep in mind with Hawaiian words, there are many different pronunciations of the same Hawaiian word. And the, the Hawaiian language, the words themselves have many different layers and interpretations as well. So you might hear some people call it Pule, some people call it Puli, both of these pronunciations are accepted. Pule is something that's commonly practiced at the beginning of almost all Lomi Lomi sessions, whether it's Auntie Margaret's Big Island style of Lomi Lomi massage, or if it's Abraham's ancient temple style massage. Pule is actually practiced usually with both. And let me show you what that looks like. Pule is before the client is be undressed, before the client is uh, having an oil application. We'll usually say a short prayer, a blessing, a wishful thinking or intention, whatever you wish to have for your client for that Lomi Lomi session. In this session right here, we're starting the client in prone position or face down. You can start prone or supine. Um, depending on whatever your style is and whatever you're trying to achieve in Lomi Lomi Massage. I have my hands together as I practice my pule, and now I'm going to place my hands on the client. You can keep your hands together. You can keep your hands on the client. You can have one hand on yourself. You can have, while well, maintaining one hand on the client. It's really up to you how you want to practice your pule. Um, there's no wrong or right if you're not touching the client or you're not putting your hands in prayer position. It's it's something that's extremely open for the practitioner to practice as they feel appropriate for the client. And for those of you who have taken Lomi Lomi massage training, that's what pule is as a refresher. And for those of you who are um, maybe have heard of Lom uh, Lomi Lomi Massage Pule and you didn't know what it was, now you've seen it. We hope that helps. If you would like additional tips um, for the massage and body worker industry, we're right here at ceinstitute.com. If you are on a, a browser on a PC like we're showing you right here, um, down in our left-hand side, we have plenty of social media that has other tips for modalities. We do have a Facebook page, uh, we have Instagram, we have Twitter, and of course we have the YouTube um, channel where you're watching this right now. So again, we do teach normally CE hours for CE credit um, at our school, and we'd love to see you in one of our live trainings, whether it's a live webinar or live in person at the school. And we're also um, working on increasing our pre-recorded library. And we hope to see you in, an, in another training. Thanks very much, everybody. Be safe.